Well, good morning, everyone. Hi, and great to see you. Um, we will be starting right on time. So we are live with Webinar Geo. Uh, it is Saturday morning here in Australia. Um, it is, I guess, different times all over the world, but uh, wherever you are, thank you for joining us uh, on what is a very exciting event for me. Um, do me a favor, just drop a one in the chat box. Let me know that you've got audio. Uh, let me know that you can hear me and see me. That'd be great. If you've got any troubles, um, just refresh the screen usually uh, will be the solution for that. Um, so we're going to wait a few minutes just for uh, a few other people to join us there. Thanks, Jay, Pat, Rick. Great to see you guys. You are my favorite bunch of people, as you know. Mark, good to see you. Um, we have a great relationship with our, our rep and resellers. I really uh, love working with you guys. Uh, and it's terrific to see you on the call. So um, welcome to my office. Um, I'm, you'll see me sort of moving around. I'm not sitting at a desk. Um, hi, Lyle from Canada. Um, this is a standing desk. Since I read that um, sitting is the new cancer, I kind of went to the standing desk kind of thing. Sandra, great to see you. Hi, Steve. Good to see you as well. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thanks for, for um, uh, taking the time out to have a look through what is, as I said, for me, a very exciting event. This is something that we've been working on for the last uh, 18 months, nearly two years. Uh, we're a quarter of a million dollars in development into this program. Uh, and this is the first time that we've been able to uh, to share it with people who will then also have the opportunity to get involved. So um, we will kick off out of respect for, for everybody that's here on time. Um, yes, the answer to the question that everybody asks, will there be a recording? Yes, I'm going to uh, make sh make that available to you. Please stay with us. I've got some special stuff for you on the call. So make sure that you're we're there with us as well. Um, Adrian, good to see you. Um, so yes, there'll be a recording. I'll get that out to you as soon as I can, but uh, stay with us on the call. Um, we'll, go, we'll go through some cool stuff. Now, Webinar Geo is a webinar platform. And um, I guess my uh, my whole presentation this morning has already been done in a way. You're on the call. We're doing a presentation. Um, this is the Webinar Geo platform uh, that we're on right here um, with all of the things that go with it. So we've got uh, screen share, live camera, uh, interactive whiteboards, advanced chat. We're going to go through all of that stuff with you this morning. Hi, Thomas. Great to see you. So uh, I'll try and answer questions as I go. Um, if I miss you, during the during the question, just ask again, and uh, I, I'll come back to it. Um, if you ask the same question a hundred times, probably everybody else in the chat box will answer for you. Hi, Richard. Um, so we'll get through. And so I'm going to kick off. Um, we've got a, a bit of a presentation this morning to walk through. I'm going to go through that, and then I'm going to uh, let you know the very special offer that you can have with the Webinar Geo. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to switch over to screen share mode, which is presentation mode. There'll be a slight delay as we switch over. There's usually a few seconds. So stay with me and we'll come back on with, with screen share mode. All right. So we're back on with, uh, with our PowerPoint presentation. So let me know, guys, can you see my PowerPoint slide? It says Webinar Geo. It's got our logo in the right-hand corner. Let me know that, um, that that's now up on the screen for you. Um, as always, with any new technology, I'm always uh, conscious that there's there's glitches that happen. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate it. Mark, appreciate it. Everybody's in. Lyle, great. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Pat, um, I'm always conscious that um, tech gremlins always come and get you at the worst time. So, <laughs> um, thank you very much for, uh, for letting me know. Uh, we are up and running on iPhones and iPads and all that kind of stuff, but um, maybe just give it a refresh or, or see how you go there. Okay, so let me walk through uh, how you can run unlimited webinars with Webinar Geo, uh, how you don't even need to be the presenter, okay? How you can tap into the trillion dollar pool of successful webinar presenters, okay? And of course, the introduction uh, to Webinar Geo software, all right? This program, as I mentioned, is uh, 18 months, two years of development, a quarter of a million dollars personally funded into the program to make this a, a platform. We've done more than a thousand test webinars um, across the board and um, some with hundreds of people on it, some with just our team. You know, we've had just the small, as we do a bug fix or something like that. Um, Brianna, I, I'm sorry that you're having trouble there, but um, okay, understood. Guys, give us the feedback. That's all, all very welcome. Um, 
so yeah, some of the webinars we've done with hundreds of people, some we've done with just our team, um, and we've done over a thousand of the of the test webinars there. So Brian, good, great to, great to hear. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and apologies if I'm not. Okay, so you and webinars, you and webinars. Even if you've never run a webinar before, I'm going to show you why they really are the world's best medium for making money online and how you can capitalize on them with, with really powerful software that literally anyone can use. Um, and guys, obviously you're, you're on this webinar right now, so it, it's pointless for me to ask, um, have you ever been on a webinar? Because you're on one, all right? You're on one here. But let me know, is it something that you, that you participate in regularly? Do you do webinars or are you involved in webinars either as an attendee or as a viewer? regularly is it something that uh, you know maybe you do once a month once a week every day what kind of frequency do you have with webinars are you a regular attendee but have never run one yourself um, is it something that you want to do let me know what's your kind of involvement with uh, with webinars in general um, okay so mark thanks for that answer so you'd love to run webinars but have never done so yet well we've got some great news for you I'm gonna show you how we can set that up and make it super simple and easy. And I've just had confirmation this morning um, of one of the world's best webinar presenters is gonna do some training for us. Once a week, Brian and Brad, sometimes, every day, okay. Four to five times a week, Richard, with attendee. Okay, so um, thanks, Pat, I appreciate that as well. So, all right, so webinars, we know that webinars are a, um, are a, a regular part of, of our online world. Okay, and there's the businesses, um, the businesses outside of the internet marketing space. So we're talking local companies and you know just what we would normally term everyday businesses. Also, are running webinars. It's a massive, massive marketplace. And if they're not, you can actually make a stack of money showing them how they're a good thing. So I'm glad you found that uh, text area there as well. Okay, so why webinars? Why now? And why you specifically? As we said, webinars are the world's best form of engagement for making sales online. And that's proven with, with heaps and heaps of studies there. There are literally hundreds of thousands of dollars being gained from webinars every single day. Okay, every single day. Um, there's never been a better time to be able to set up webinars and online events and profit from them than right now. And the technology and access today makes it so easy that you can run global webinars to 10 people or 10,000 people and you never even have to go on camera. If, you, if you've seen the or read the book by Mark Anastasi called The Laptop Millionaire, which, was, uh, a, which is a New York Times bestseller and an absolute fabulous read if you're in this marketplace, Mark actually talks about webinars specifically and he's in his list of 10 reasons why you really must do webinars, Mark says webinars convert much better than websites, okay? Much better than online sales letters. It's typical to close 10% of your attendees at a $1,000 price point, so long as you've got a good offer, of course. And in other words, that means having 100 targeted prospects on your webinar can bring in 10,000 sales from a single 90-minute webinar, okay? That's a, those are big numbers. And for the guys who said they hadn't done webinars but want to, again, we're going to make sure that that's something that really is uh, accessible for you. So Mark went on to say uh, on his blog, actually, that a few points, and I'm going to read through them, and I'm going to cross out one of them, which is number three, but I'll, get, I'll leave it there for now, and I'll come back to it. <laughs> um, so point number one, you can make a lot of money easily and fast while educating, informing, and adding value. Webinars convert much better than websites. We just said that. Okay, that point number three, they cost next to nothing to run, all right, with no hosting, no website, just a $99 a month go to webinar subscription. Now, I'm going to change that completely because that's the whole reason we built Webinar Geo because $99 a month is the low end uh, price of, of go to webinar, and even that is scary. So, webinars give you massive leverage. You can do webinars from home. You don't even need a website, a product, or a mailing list. They help you build relationships, they work in any market. And if you've built a mailing list of prospects and clients, running a webinar to them can be very lucrative and you can earn passive income, all right? Some really fine points and things that from a marketer's perspective, from an entrepreneur's perspective, from someone that really wants to make money online, those are really solid points for running webinars. So webinars engage more, okay? Engage more. Webinars have that ability to, to have that lifetime feedback like you guys have done this morning. I asked you to drop a one in the chat box 
and everybody jumped in and gave a one, gave a yes. Uh, let me know that sound was bad, um, so we refresh. But we have that engagement, okay? They convert better because you have that opportunity to engage with the presenter and attendees. They reduce sales time massively, absolutely massively. They allow you to conduct sales at a much faster pace. They connect people, okay? You can have sales teams and organizations in countries all over the world and you can do webinars together uh, and all be on the same screens at the same time. They allow you to leverage your time and money. You can run sales presentations and even recorded presentations um, while you're sleeping. And I'll, I'll talk to you that, about that a little bit more as well. So making money with webinars. I mean, that's, that's probably why most of us are here. Because if we're, if we're going to add a tool to our toolkit, we want to make sure that it does one of two things. Either it, uh, either it allows us to make more money or it gives us more time. Okay. So what can, we, what can we use webinars for? Let's look at a few ways that people are using webinars. We're using webinars for product sales. We're using webinars for affiliate reviews, okay? We're using webinars for genius coaching, and I wanna talk about that with local businesses, where we actually run a webinar with a local business person, and they teach about what they do. For example, a roof tiler can teach about tiling, and a flora can teach about laying floor. And what's funny is, you would think that that would actually steer people away that, you know, if I teach someone how to do what I do, if I'm a plumber and I teach them how to fix a leaky tap, that uh, people will do it themselves instead of calling me. Well, no, what actually happens is it, pro it positions that person as an expert in the field, okay? Webinars are great for membership delivery. If you've got a membership of people, you can literally communicate with them on a regular basis. You can go beyond the blog. If a lot of people making uh, an income these days out of running their blogs and being able to take that engagement one step further with a webinar really makes the blogs uh, run a little bit better. The double up method, all right? Being able to run a webinar and then have that as an evergreen recording that people can view at any time. And what we call the secret method, and this particular method's made hundreds of thousands of dollars for me personally, um, but it's not going to be a secret. I've recorded a very specific series of training videos inside of Webinar Geo. We're going to give that to you as part of the Webinar Geo system. So that's just one of the training bonuses that we've included. So with all of that being said, why wouldn't you be running webinars? The first one is fear, all right, fear. Most people, uh, don't have that sort of, I really want to get in front of it, people and present, okay? Not knowing how to present, not, not wanting to, not literally not wanting to do those presentations. And again, I'm going to show you ways where you will never have to, okay? People will say, well, we don't have a product or a list, okay? And again, I'm going to make sure that neither one of those things are a problem for you. So I'm going to show you how to solve both of those things so that you can be running webinars within 30 minutes from now, okay, without ever needing a product, a list, or even needing to overcome that fear about getting online or standing in front of a camera. Okay, so taking that into account. So acknowledging that I'm going to solve those ones for you. Okay, acknowledging, acknowledging that. Okay, fear of technical problems, Mark, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Okay. Too many gurus are saying webinars are dead. Um, I completely disagree. If there's, if there's ever um, a, a medium that's being used more and more, it's webinars. Yes, the attendance levels are going down, but that's because everybody's in this internet marketing space has got used to there being replays and that kind of stuff, but they still are the number one way of making money. Um, and I'll give you a real example. We ran a launch, which everybody thinks is the way to make money. We ran a launch in, in March and we did about $60,000 from that launch. Um, which is not a bad weekend, like we ran it over a, over a three-day period, but I've done one webinar in 90 minutes and done 120,000 in sales. So it's definitely uh, still the most effective medium. Sorry, just grabbing a drink there. Okay, so I'm acknowledging I'm going to solve that. Let's keep on moving forward. So with those two problems solved, the fear and not having a list or a product and not wanting to sort of get online, um, there's still two big problems that hold most people back, Okay. And that is that the software has typically been too expensive and difficult to use. That's, that's big problem number one. I know myself, when I started online, I, I constantly looked at GoToWebinar and several times I signed up for a free account 
um, with different email addresses just to get that one webinar that I needed to get done and then the rebill of $100 a month hit me or $200 a month hit me the next month and I had to cancel it straight away. It was just too expensive. And even if you're an inverted commas guru that's running webinars every week, that's running with a thousand people seats and a booking out, okay, even then at three or four hundred dollars each and every month, it's not saying it's not um, uh, it's not an expense that people want to incur. So the software has been too expensive. And the alternatives that have never delivered the quality that makes webinars effective. OK, and that is a personal one for me. We created software into the webinar space with Google Hangouts. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. OK, the staple product in the webinar space has always been GoToWebinar, owned by Citrix, publicly listed company, absolutely massive, hundreds and thousands, I think millions actually, of customers. People who use GoToWebinar, using it for running sales meetings, using it for sales presentations, using it for presentations, all right? Mark, I'm interested to hear why, but I'll get to that in just a second. So, but even, so GoToWebinar has been that staple product, all right? In fact, guys, do me a favor, Drop into the chat box for me. Of all of the webinars that you've been on, and people saying, you know, once a week, uh, once a month, I've attended a lot. Of those ones, give me a, a percentage or an out of 10. How many of them have been on GoToWebinar? How many of them have had the GoToWebinar experience? So of all of the webinars that you've been on, is it is it 80%? 8 out of 10? Is it 10 out of 10? So give me a score. If 100% of the webinars you've ever been on are go to webinar, drop a 10. If it's 90%, drop a 9. 50%, drop a 5. What percentage of the webinars that you've been on personally? 9 out of 10. 99%. Exactly. 9 out of 10. Right. Now, there's a reason for that. 99%. Exactly. Thanks, guys. There's a reason for that. That is because that product, 90%. Thank you, Rick. There you go. So we can see that, guys. You can see that everybody's saying that they are 19 out of 20. All right. There you go, 9, 10, 95%. All right, exactly. So there are other products out there in the marketplace, but of all of the webinars you've been on, 9 or 90%, 95%, 9 out of 10 are still on GoToWebinar because that's the platform that has been responsible for delivering the best results, okay? Looking at the cost, this, this is straight from GoToWebinar this morning, all right? Their starter package, $89 a month if you only want 100 attendees. They're saying the most popular is that middle package at $199 per month, okay? And that gives you up to 500 attendees. Or if you want to be serious about it with up to 1,000 attendees, so you're not allowed to have any more than that, but you're still looking at $299, okay? $299 each and every month. And the reality is for most people, even if you're not filling those seats, even if, you're, uh, if you're, you've got 1,000 people and you're paying 300 bucks a month, $3,000 a year, you know, even if you've only got 14 people that are attending, you still have to pay that money, right? You're literally paying for that on an ongoing basis each and every month without any, uh, any way of cutting that back. So they've been the staple. We talk about GoToWebinar. They've been the staple product. They're the 95%, okay? But there's something in this industry and in this world right now that we call disruption. And I've got a picture of an airline up there, uh, British Airways. I just want to talk about big corporates that are being disrupted. So for such a long time, British Airways was the only carrier until they were disrupted by Virgin Atlantic, okay? Somebody came in, Sir Richard Branson came in and disrupted the airline industry and created a whole new era of airline travel. Something closer to home maybe, and something more recent. The taxi industry, massively disrupted by Uber, okay? And Everybody's familiar with the term disruption because of Uber. They stepped in to an industry that was outdated with old technology and they shook it up. And they literally said, this is a new way of doing things and it was incredibly popular. Disruption is all around us. In fact, if we look at different businesses that are out there in the marketplace right now, we know so many brands that are incredibly successful because they're disrupting the status quo. They're disrupting what has been. They're disrupting what always has been and what people think will always be and they come in and say there's a better way. 
We've got a couple of brands up there which are very, very well known for the success in this disruption space. And as we look at GoToWebinar, what we're here to do is disrupt that space. Disrupt that space. We are here to make a case for a better and different way of moving forward. Okay. So we talked about Hangouts. We had a couple of people mention Hangouts there in the, in the, um, the chat box. Are Hangouts the answer? When Hangouts were released, Google Hangouts, I remember it clearly. I was um, traveling with my family. Uh, we were actually traveling through Europe and um, a very good friend of mine jumped on and said, hey, have you seen what a Google Hangout is? And I said, a what? And he said, Google have just released this live streaming where you can have, I was like, wow. And I had a look at it and I said to him, I, did, I literally did a Hangout with this friend of mine. And I said to him, wow, this is amazing. And I said the words out loud, I wonder if we could use this as a webinar tool. And he said, no, you can't sort of register people. You can't have an event at a set time. And I went, gee whiz, that might be interesting. So we actually created a webinar platform based around Google Hangouts. We were first to market with a product called Hangout Plugin. Now we weren't the only ones to market. There's some great products out there like Webinar Jam and Webinar Ignition, I think came out about 10 days after Hangout Plugin released. Um, but we created this platform because we thought this may be, maybe this is the answer to the webinars costing a fortune. Let's see what we can do with Google Hangouts. Okay, so we created Hangout Plugin. It was very popular. Uh, we ran some great webinars there from, from outback Romania, from, from the middle of, of rural Romania. I ran some amazing webinars with people like uh, Jason Fladlian and, and others using the Hangout plugin system. Okay. And then a couple of, uh, I think it was about three or four months, maybe five months after we launched Hangout plugin, Google actually contacted us and said, can you change the name? They were very polite, very nice. They said, everybody, uh, thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Um, everybody who, uh, uh needs to run Hangouts, needs to download something for their browser called a Hangout plugin. And could you please change the name of your product? We said, sure. We were working on some different uh, additions, some different tools anyway. We were adding them, so we're changing the interface, adding more functionality. So we re-released that with a branding of RunClick. And again, very, very popular. We ran with RunClick and uh, produced that sitting on WordPress. So that was the, the base, that you could easily install it as a plugin, that it was a WordPress-based hangout based wrapper around Google Hangouts to run webinars. But I ran into some problems, okay? And our support desk continually had people asking about updates because WordPress would make a change. And, and what I was experiencing personally, well, I used the product myself, obviously, because we had built it. I used the product personally myself for years, but the trouble was that the reliability wasn't where I needed it to be and certainly where it wasn't needed where it, for, for the customers, for people who are running webinars. You need it to be rock solid. You need to depend on it. So let me tell you how I lost personally $10,000 and a key client and partner using our own system with, with, uh, with RunClick and what we did about it. So we actually had a, uh, a world-class presenter. This is somebody that was well used to running presentations, well used to doing millions of dollars of sales from stage, had done TV presentations, was a world-class webinar presenter. This is somebody that seriously knew their stuff, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And we organized to do a webinar with them. And of course, because we owned RunClick, I said to this person, we own this Hangout-based uh, webinar solution, and I'd really like to run the presentation on that. And he said, well, sure, I've never run a webinar using Hangouts before, but why don't we give it a go? And uh, so we jumped on and we did this call. Now, what therein we found the biggest problem with using Google Hangouts, and that's the delay, okay? Okay, so what happened with Hangouts was when somebody would ask a question, like we've done on this webinar already this morning, I'm, uh, you know, can you drop a one in the chat box if you hear me and understand me? And what happened was it would take between 45 and 60 seconds before those people would actually hear all right. So our presenter, someone who's at a world class level, was literally standing there saying, hey, can you do you understand me? Am I on the right track? And it would be 60 seconds before he'd get any responses back. And it threw off the presentation so badly because he was like, hello, hello. It really felt like he was talking to an empty room. OK, he was genuinely just not getting any feedback. And we on any normal webinar, we're used to making over 10,000 in sales. And on that day, we made specifically zero. OK. This world-class presenter said to me at that point, 
I will never, ever, ever use a hangout based system to present again. And that was where I knew we had a trouble right at that point, because I thought, well, hang on a second. How are we going to be a world class solution if world class presenters aren't comfortable with the engine that we've built our system on and that engine being Hangouts. And again, wasn't anything wrong with the wrapper that we'd put around it. And there's nothing wrong with Webinar Jam or, or Webinar Ignition or any of the other platforms that are out there that put that wrapper around it. But that engine of Google Hangouts was causing the trouble. And I asked you before how many people, even with all of those platforms, and, and Webinar Jam I think has got over 20,000 customers, how many webinars have you been on that were using Hangouts? And your answer was not many. Obviously, the majority were still on GoToWebinar. And there's a, the reason for that was even the, despite the fact that the wrappers were so good and you guys have said that even with those great products out there, the reality is that there's not many that run on anything other than GoToWebinar. Okay, it's, it is the stable. So we decided we had to do better. Um, we have run a thousand test webinars on this. Uh, if you guys were on our webinar last week, you would know that we had about 300 people on the call and it was flawless. I decided, this is 18 months ago, after we had this discussion, we still had run click in the marketplace, but we, dis we had to do better. We had to shake things up. We had to make an affordable solution that you could grow with, all right, without punishing you. So if you've got more than 100 people on a call, not have to pay more for it. It must be easy to use with no delays, okay? And it must have all the tools that the staple systems have without compromising on the quality. Thanks guys, Mark, Mark, I appreciate it. Okay, I will introduce you to Webinar Geo. And I'm gonna do this in an interesting way. I'm gonna turn up my speakers and hope you guys can hear. And I hope that was just cool. <laughs> I hope that was cool. All right, so uh, I want to introduce you to Webinar Geo. Now, of course, you're on the platform right now. We have thousands of webinars under our belt. Um, we've got stacks and stacks, actually, I'll, I'll go to, I think on page, page two, these are ones we ran just yesterday. We've got 150 on that call, 186 on that call, 178 on this call. So we've, we've run stacks and stacks of tests here. So I want to show you this program. So let me show you a few things. I'm going to give you, for example, uh, how quick it is to set up a webinar. Let's start with that. So let's say, for example, that you know, you've know you got somebody on a call. You say, hey, can you do a webinar with me? They say, great, can we lock in a date? I say, sure. And I go, set up a new webinar. All right, I give it a title. This is all we need. So it might be uh, present with Bob. Okay, now I, I might put some extra details. I can come and do that later. I'm going to give it a date and a time. When is it? All right, Bob, I've got a Tuesday morning at 10.15. How's that? Or 10.30, all right? Well, Bob says, well, actually, most of my customers are based in the United States on Eastern time. I say, sure, well, let's just change our time zone so I can drop in any time zone there. So America, New York, where are we? There we go. So I can run, time to, I can run it in any time zone. I give it a title. I give it a date and time. Do I want to record it? And literally that's it. Save the webinar. I now have I now have my webinar set up, present with Bob, and I can share that link everywhere. If I share that link with you guys, in fact I can drop that into the chat box right now, and you'll see the sign up page for present with Bob, and I'll do that. I'll drop that here. All right. So you guys can see that we've created a webinar sign up page in record time, literally just quickly and easily. Now that's the link I can share. I can share that with Bob so that he's a presenter. I just wanted to show you again how quick it is to set up and create webinars in the system, okay? Um, we can also, so setting up live events. We can also set up what we call recorded webinars. So you can have an evergreen presentation. You can have webinars that run with a, uh, 
selection of dates. And why is that a good thing? Lots of people have run evergreen webinars and I always get asked the question, um, is it you know, is it ethical to run a recorded presentation for a start? That's the first thing that people ask me. Well, yeah, so long as you tell people that it's a recorded presentation, okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest um, trying to fake that it's live, but um, you know, some people do. So whatever you wanna do is completely up to you. Um, but so running a recorded presentation, why is that effective? Because I can set up a presentation with details and screen shares and walkthroughs and, and demonstration presentations, and I can set that up, and maybe somebody who sees an advertisement, so we're doing Facebook ads or something like that, and they click on the ad, and they see that it's something they're really interested in, but they're at work, and they're like, oh man, I, I don't have time to do this right now, my boss is on, the, on my shoulder, but they could see that there's a presentation they could see on Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m., and they could elect to watch that presentation. The system will send them a reminder an hour before and they can go and watch that presentation. So let me show you to set up a recorded webinar, okay? Again, we just literally give it a title, but I can select if I've got a pre-existing recording. So one of the webinars that I did last week or one week ago, for example, I can go and select that webinar as the recording, or I can use an external video file, I can use a YouTube video or a Vimeo video. So once I've done my presentation, I could sit there with my webcam off and I could do a complete presentation on PowerPoint or Keynote and I can then just use that video as the presentation. Um, can they watch it? Jay, let me show you. So when you're setting up an evergreen or recorded presentation, you have some choices here. So we've got a, a different day system. So let's say we, we, we want to give them lots of different choices of when they can watch. So we're gonna say that there's a presentations on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And let's say that there's morning sessions at 8 a.m. and there's evening sessions at 7 p.m. and one in the middle of the day at five. Okay, so when they see it, they choose. I, ah, I'm free on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Or we, we've got this three day system. Uh, and the reason I've got that in there so for example, if I said it's on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it makes it look like the, uh, yes, it can be watched on demand. I'll show you that in just a second, Richard. Um, so if I tick every day, it's almost like, well, hang on a second, guys, you know, what, what's that about? So I might just choose to use what we call the three day system, which picks up the day we're on and says today, tomorrow, and the next day. So if the person visits the website on a Wednesday, they'll see Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are available and those time zones, so 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. as an example, okay? And then here's the option that you guys are asking about. Do you want to include a, a watch now? So they've come to the page, they see that there's a presentation on Wednesday at 3 p.m., but they can also say, oh, I'd, I'd rather watch now. So you can include that as an option if you want to when you're setting up a recorded presentation. And then you can use the, the system to send the notifications and the reminders, which will remind them on the time. There's lots and lots of cool stuff you can do here, okay? For example, if I'm setting up a webinar, I can uh, invite everybody that attended a previous event. So if I'm running a series of webinars, okay? If I say, for example, you know, we're going to have a weekly webinar session or something like that, down here, I can actually invite people based on a previous event that they that they attended. So I might say, let's go and invite everybody that was on this particular event. And it automatically drops them in, okay? And automatically then allows you to communicate. So it sends them the reminder, hey, our next webinar's on ABC date. So you can, you can watch, you can invite people based on previous events, or you can simply invite people manually, okay? Or you can add emails into a system. If you've got uh, a list of people that have, have opted into something that you have and you want to import them into the webinar system, you can do that from here as well, okay? Um, talking of lists, we connect with all of the autoresponders. So, um, and I want to talk to you about this just for a second. So the autoresponders, uh, where are we? Autoresponders, here we go. So we have, at the moment, Aweber, Infusionsoft, SendReach, Mail, MailChimp, iContact, GetResponse, and SendLane that we're integrating with. Okay, um, if your chosen autoresponder isn't there, I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. Let me know, as a customer, obviously, uh, if you say, I'm not buying it because, I don't know, you don't have ABC mail autoresponder, I'm gonna say, well, customers get priority. If a customer says, I use ARPReach, for example, ARP Reach or whatever, then we'll build that in. Uh, Pat, Mark, SendGrid is the SMTP, I'll show you that below. 
Um, Pat, will it integrate with ClickFunnels? Yes, we're already talking with um, Andrew, I think it is, from ClickFunnels, and we have a webinar. So Mark, drop me again details. As customers, if people want different autoresponders added, we will add them in, okay? So um, again, let me know. As a customer, if you'd like an extra autoresponder added in, give us a couple of weeks to do it, and we'll make sure that it's added in for you. Um, and yes, we've got the API so that we can integrate from places like uh, lead pages and click funnels. Um, uh, so we've already got conversation started with uh, click funnels with the guys there. They're very, very keen to get that integration done. Um, lead pages, they wanted to make sure we had the API first, which will be finished next week, and they'll be able to integrate from there as well. But also, we've got an opportunity where you can have the registration form on any website. So one of the bonuses that we're including is a WordPress plugin where you can have um, your webinar registration on your blog. So people are reading a blog post and can opt in to your webinar. Now also let me talk about the, the autoresponders just for one more second. Using the, uh, using the evergreen, the recorded presentations, what's really cool is you can run the ads, people elect to watch the presentation. Now whether they do or they don't, they're still added to the, to the autoresponder. You're still building your list as you go. Um, yes, Jay, we're, we've got that uh, coming through. It's not there at the moment, I have to be clear. It's not there at the moment, but there's, it, uh, it'll be coming through within the next couple of weeks where you can take the embedded um, registration code form and put it on any website. All right, so that's coming within a few couple of weeks. All right, so this is, I guess this is the, um, um, the administrative dashboard of this particular system. All right, and there's a few other things that I'll, I'll show you here. Things like uh, there's lots of user history. I won't do that because we can see email addresses and that kind of stuff. Um, I can see all my pre-recordings and my pre-recorded webinars. This one's really cool, the media elements. And I'm going to, I'll show you some of these media elements later on in the day, but what I can actually do is trigger live call to action buttons or buy buttons at the time that I want to. So I can literally say, I can trigger, and I'll, again, I'm going to show you. I'll show off a little bit with this later on. Um, how will live streaming via Google and Facebook compete with Geo? Well, I don't know. It's always different things in the marketplace. But again, a, a live stream is not a um, is not a, a webinar. All right. Um, integrate with JVO with uh, GVO Joel's program again, guys. Yep, as a customer, let me know that that's a priority for you, and we'll we'll make that happen. So media elements, I can set up a survey, so I can actually trigger surveys on the screen. And again, I'm going to show off with this a little bit later on. So this is the admin side of things, guys, right? So this is where we have the, uh, the administrative dashboard. We've got uh, all of the different ways we can set up webinars, uh, pre-recorded events, all that kind of stuff as well. Um, as a viewer, now you guys can already see uh, what you can see on your end, but now we're going to go into ever-repeating screen mode. Right? I'm sorry for that, but I'm showing you the, the um, administrative dashboard of an actual presentation now, I guess. So from here, I can trigger those media elements. Uh, I can go on to camera mode, which is where we started. Um, I've also got this whiteboard mode, which I'll show you as well, which is kind of cool, um, where you can actually annotate directly onto the screen. So I can uh, have a, an interactive whiteboard as part of my presentation. So again, I'm just showing you this as, as what is Webinar Geo. We've got the, the chat box over here on the right-hand side, uh, and I've got things like, and I'll right-click on Robert's comment there, I can make someone a presenter, for example. I can make them a presenter. Uh, I can make someone else an, a chat administrator, okay? I can save chat messages as a canned reply. So if I've got, for example, um, people ask about, um, will there be a recording? Now that's a pretty standard question on an event, okay? So I've got a canned reply and I'll drop that in. You guys can watch me do this. Over here on the right hand side, I've got a canned reply of recorded. So I can drop that in and it automatically drops in to your chat box, okay? And you'll see that pop up on your system and hear me talking about it in a second or two. And you can see that we can drop in canned replies on the chat. Again, this is all just designed to make presenting webinars easier, okay? Lots and lots of cool stuff we can do. Um, we can uh, evict someone. So for example, we can kick them out if they're causing trouble, uh, I can mute them so I can take them off the ability to enter chat messages and that kind of stuff. So the, the power of the presentation module is huge and what the things that we can do with it, okay?
I'll show you this whiteboard thing um, and that'll refresh our screen. So I'll change modes and show you our whiteboard. All right. I gave it a, a few extra seconds there just to uh, see if we could refresh that sound. But this is our interactive whiteboard and I can draw directly onto the screen. Okay. So guys, again, let me know. Can you, can you see our whiteboard presentation? Can you see me drawing on the screen there? I can uh, really make my point 101 about anything that I want to talk about. So I can have a, an interactive, I guess, screen share where I can, uh, I can put up a flow chart as an example and I can walk my way through it. So let me show you. Uh, so I can actually, uh, I've got thick lines and thin lines and colored pencils. Actually, I'll change my color and get something uh, nice and bright going on. We'll get a nice green for our drawing. Yep, we've got green. So let me show you that we can uh, drop, in a, drop in a picture. I can drop it right here on the presentation. There we go. And again, annotate directly onto a flowchart and talk about the different things that I want to talk about. Let me go back to, uh, to uh, screen share guys and I'll come back to our presentation. Um, okay, so Jay, what platform do you use? Yes, we're on Amazon Web Services. So we've got an infinite scalability in the back end. Each individual webinar is actually uh, run on its own separate server instance. So there's no chance of actually uh, maxing out the system. Each individual event has its own server. Okay, Mark, yeah, I saw that as well. Um, the drawing on the screen, I think I was trying to, trying to do it too fast there. So Webinar Geo, there's so many tools within that program. All right. Um, and we really, we have no limits on the amount of attendees. I'm talking about web services there, Amazon as our infrastructure partner. Um, the way that we've built the system is you actually, the more people that are on the call, the faster it gets. How does that work? Based on the amount of registrations you have. So if, let's say you have a hundred people register for your event, you'll get the server that caters for that hundred person size. If you've got a thousand people that register for your event, Amazon actually kicks in a bigger server. So you get more power behind the bigger events, which is a really cool way to go. So we really have no limits with the system. No delays. We have that complete webinar toolkit with the chat management, multi-presenter, surveys, buy buttons, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you the buy buttons a little bit later on. The designer landing pages where you can register. You guys were part of that and, and obviously are attending on the event at the moment. The whiteboard, as we showed. The screen sharing, which is what you're seeing now, being able to walk through a keynote presentation or an on-screen demonstration as we walk through the dashboard of Webinar Geo. Uh, and so we've walked all the way through. So what we've done is we, we looked at, as we said, the staple product in the marketplace, which was, which is GoToWebinar. And we kept all of the good points. All right, and this is a terrible image, but I just want to kind of outline, we've kept all of the good things. So live streaming, unlimited seats, push notifications and the where we can literally get someone to click at the time we want them to click uh, a fully immersive webinar experience lead management with the with the um, autoresponders automatic camera private chat and public chat uh, attendees can present recording of the webinars social media so many 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 things okay all of those good points and then we brought in some of our own to make this a little bit more powerful so we had that live streaming. So you can see there's a few things that, that we've done a little bit better in our, in our aim to mix it up a bit, okay? Let me close off some of those reminders on the screen. Things like recorded and live presentations, okay? Rick, yep, the chat box is being uh, um, de-docked as we speak. It's one of the things on our development chain. Um, you can have paid webinars. So you can actually lock in that people have to pay for the content so they can go through um, PayPal or Stripe or, or um, uh, any of the, the payment processes out there. I think we've integrated with JVZoo and we've in integrated with ClickBank and a few others as well. Um, we can run live. You can have uh, events pushed out to Facebook and events pushed out to YouTube. Um, lots and lots of things that we've added as marketing tools to the platform. 
Jay, the recordings are, are instant. So they're Im immediately recorded to Amazon S3 storage and available for download. So um, as soon as, for example, as soon as the event finishes, it takes, depending on the time of the event, but it takes a little bit of time to compile, but you don't have to remember to do it. It automatically um, creates the recording. And then the same link, so somebody came to opt into the webinar um, and maybe they were a day late or they missed the time or whatever and they, they still follow the link and they go to it. When they opt in, they'll see the recording, okay? So that, that's available there as well. Right, so some incredible feedback that we've had already. Uh, and we've had lots of our, our top level marketers give Webinar Geo a try and really we wanted to get the trust of, of people who were doing live events. So this was an event with Sean Donahoe. Sean ran, I think he had about three or 400 people on the call, jumped straight off the webinar and onto Facebook where he said um, he wanted to give a huge shout out because the platform just gave him a flawless webinar uh, and uh, he really enjoyed it. I've got a recording of Sean and again, I'm gonna turn my, my volume up and see if we can hear what Sean had to say himself. Hey there, this is Sean Donahoe. Great to see you here. And I just want to give a massive shout out to Walt Davis and his Webinar Geo platform. Now this is something he's been working on for a long number of months, and I can tell you all that hard work has paid off. He has built an incredible system with massive integrations and an amazing, amazing way to engage your audience. Now, the cool thing with this is, unlike other webinar platforms, um, this has unlimited attendees. There's no limits, no chains, no mucking around. And I tell you right now, we just held a seamless flawless webinar on this platform and my presentation has lots that we were doing has lots of animations flawless perfection no audio problems uh it, the frame rate was incredible almost zero lag and it allowed me to do so much more in this presentation absolutely amazing system and keep your eyes out for this one guys because when it hits the market you're going to want to grab this one with both hands Amazing work, Walt, and can't say enough about this. Looking forward to grabbing, getting my hands on it and pitching to this platform myself. That was, that was amazing for us to have somebody who's done literally thousands of webinars jump onto our system and, um, and have such a good experience. We had, we had um, Nick LaPola and Ian Tomkin from Simple Video Pro run a massive training webinar for their new release. Uh, again, I think we had three or 400 people, very, very interactive, lots and lots of stuff that Nick and Ian were running through and, and hundreds more. We've had, we've had heaps. Um, Dan Ashendorf, who's a, who's a very, very well-respected person in, in marketing, runs a terrific business, just basically raving about Webinar Geo and, and uh, how well it's working. So again, we've run with so many uh, successful presenters and so many successful presentations that I have absolute faith and confidence. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stand here. There we go. So remember my promise. When we started, I talked about the fact that my, my promise and my commitment to you was that I'm going to show you how you can run webinars without ever needing to be the presenter, okay? without ever needing to be on screen, without needing to learn how to do that and to, to get over the fear without a product or a list. All right. So that was my commitment to you. And as we come up to an hour within the event, I want to kind of fulfill that for you. So I'm going to show you how to set up and run webinars without a product and without a list with a couple of the bonuses that we are including. The first bonus talks directly to that fact that you don't need to have a product. Five done for you webinars. So there are five webinars in there, each of them proven to convert. So we've got webinars from different places talking about different software, but that allows you to take those webinars drop them into Webinar Geo and instantly have an income producing system from here. Okay, just one of those webinars, I can, I can tell you categorically, this is the statistics. One of our people ran this private webinar. They sold 135 units, okay? With a conversion rate of 26%, that means a quarter of the people that were on the call took them up on it. That EPC, that means an earning per click. For every one of the clicks that they sent to the webinar, they made $32, okay? Thanks, Pat, I appreciate that and with an average price of $122. So that's just one, one of the webinars and we've included five, okay? We've included five done for you webinars in this system. So this one webinar 
this one of these five has a product price of $67 per month or $497 per year. If you make one sale from our pre-done bonus, just one of the five bonuses, your whole webinar system is paid for, okay? So that's one of our bonuses that we're including. Bonus two, how to build your list and get people to your webinars using Facebook. How to fill your webinars, build your list using Facebook. Now this has been specifically written by my team. This is not some rehashed stuff. This is my team that's gone out and done this and filled up webinar rooms using Facebook advertising, talking specifically how to do it, how to set up the audiences, how to, how to make sure all of your bases are covered. So that's bonus number two. You don't need a list, how to build your list using Facebook advertising to send people through to your webinars. Bonus number three, you get a free copy of Hydravid, which is our video syndication software. I've got $29.95 up on the screen there, but it's actually selling for $97 now. This screen that we've got here, this one, where I'm showing the colorful buttons, at the end of each webinar that you run, this will pop up and it will say, do you want to share? Do you want to syndicate your webinar out to social networks? Do you want to share your webinar to Facebook and Twitter and YouTube? And of course, through Hydravid, do you want to actually, the webinar recording that you just made, do you want to send it out to the world and get more traffic and traction? That's what we offer with the, with the webinar geo system and with the link into Hydravid. So that's bonus number three, a free copy of Hydravid at $97. Bonus number four, bonus number four. Now, this is the one that I recorded specifically for you guys. This is a series of video trainings. Each video is between, I think, six and 10 minutes long. Okay, and there's five videos in the series. How to have webinars lined up without ever needing a product or even a website. I talk about exactly how to find webinars, how to set them up, how to present them, absolutely everything. And that's a, a specifically recorded video training series that I did for you guys. I started it as a report, so that's why I've got it written there as a report. Um, but I ended up making it into a video training series because it just made more sense to be able to talk you through the system. And that value at $97. So that is the bonuses. Now I wanna do something cool here. And remember I said I was going to show off a little bit. So I'm going to trigger our, there we go, I'm going to trigger our survey, okay? So this is just one way that you can have an interaction, you can see I've doubled it up there. I was going to ask two questions, but <laughs> I think I did it in a hurry. Are you in, right, is the survey that you'll see popping up on your screen. If you're watching on mobile, it probably won't come through, but if you're on a desktop, you should see that in the bottom left hand corner. You can trigger surveys during the event. Who's in, who would, who would wanna grab a copy of Webinar Geo before we've actually made the pricing available. And I'm gonna make sure that that's very special for you. All right, so you guys, um, I, I just want so I've got a, a bunch of people, I can see that live feedback coming through. So lots of people saying yes, somebody said no. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and a whole bunch of yeses, that's, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, so let's talk pricing. Okay, I'll take that survey off the screen and let's talk pricing. So let's talk pricing. Okay. We talked about go to webinar, right? We talked about go to webinars uh, toolkit and why they're the staple in the marketplace. We talked about the fact that they have those different packages where we start with a hundred attendees Okay, and we have up to 500 attendees for $200 a month or up to 1,000 attendees. If we just even look at this base model, this 100 attendees, okay? Do you remember I just showed you that one with a pre-recorded webinar and somebody made 135 sales, okay? 135 sales. It's hard to make 135 sales when you're only allowed to have 100 people in the room, right? Okay, but this, at the base level of $89 a month up to $300 a month, you know, we're talking 3,000 or even, what are we talking here? 2,000 plus, this one over $1,000 for a year, okay? So $299 a month gets you a 1,000 seat system within GoToWebinar. And they, they've been able to afford to put that limit on it because they've been the only player in the marketplace. But that is the limitation. So, so 300 times 12 is over $3,500 per year. So what would you expect an unlimited system to cost? So that's for the limited one. Would you expect it to cost more? If you thought that 
with a limit, you're going to be paying 3000 Would you expect unlimited to actually cost more? I would think so. So we've, with unlimited webinars, unlimited seats, you'd expect it to be that high, but it's not. For most people, thinking of numbers higher than 1000 is pretty unrealistic. So we know that, okay? If we went with the lowest package, all right, the lowest package, and it's 100 people. Sorry, I've written 99, but it's actually $89 a month with GoToWebinar. And that's over $1,000 a year if you've got that limit of 100. And as I said, one of our people with that pre-recorded webinar making 135 sales, hard to do that with 100 people as your limit on the room. But that, regardless, that's the, the payment for a limited 100-person room system, okay? Webinar Geo. No limits, integrated autoresponders, live and evergreen webinars, advanced chat management, interactive polling and pop-up buy buttons, and it's not $4,000 a year, all right, for the unlimited program. It's not even that $1,000 for the low-end program where you're limited to 100, okay? Right now, because we are launching this product to the marketplace, we're going to offer a grandfathered price. And if you've been around this industry for a while, anybody that's got grandfathered accounts anywhere is so pleased that they've got them. Like for example, uh, GoToWebinar themselves did a grandfathered rate of $99 a month for that thousand person seat. So, you know, people are just so thrilled that they got that $99 a month package when they did. They closed down that grandfathered offer after the first, I think, month or two. And there's still people running around and they brag about the fact that they got the grandfathered rate. Aweber did a grandfathered um program. I mean, lots and lots of businesses out there do that grandfather pricing when they launch and anybody who's lucky to pick one up is really, really thrilled. So we're, as we launch making this offer available for just $297 a year, okay, $297 a year, less than $30 a month. Guys, so let me know if that's a realistic price, if, you, if you're pleased with that price. What do you think at $297 per year, is that something that you think is fair and reasonable for an unlimited webinar system? Again, this is grandfathered pricing, okay? So this is a pricing that we are literally only doing at the start of our launch, okay? Thanks, Jay, Mark, appreciate it. So $297 is fair. So. No, Jay, I'm not doing a lifetime. Actually, somebody asked me that. Do you know what? I did a big recording for the Run, Click and Hangout plugin customers not very long ago, I think a few days ago, talking about lifetime pricing. And do you know, the fastest way to make sure that a software has a short life is to offer a lifetime pricing. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean. Um, I made that mistake with Run, Click. And I offered it as a lifetime pricing and people joked with me. They said, is that your lifetime or mine? <laughs> and and I, I have to say it's neither. It's the lifetime of the product, okay? And unfortunately, the quick way to make sure that the, that lifetime is short is to stop any more income coming in. It means that we can't afford to update it. We can't afford to keep it going, right? And Jay, exactly, it costs money for the hosting. Um, so a lifetime pricing is not available with Webinar Geo. Um, we are making it available for a ridiculously low cost, especially taking into account that hosting. Um, and even if you're not running a webinar <laughs> this year, you'd be so pleased that you've still got a grandfather pricing because it'll still work out, um, still work out cheaper. Rick, not doing it. We, we won't be releasing lifetime pricing on, on Webinar Geo simply because it's a product that has an ongoing cost associated to it. And it, the very worst thing I could do by giving you ser it, in terms of giving you service is give you a program that we can't afford to support in five years time. The very best thing that you can do is make sure that the investments you make in tools are still gonna be there. So we've, we've made that available at $297 a year. So I asked, is that fair? And again, thank you so much for the feedback, more than fair. Uh, and I really appreciate that you guys um, can see the value there. A quick recap, unlimited webinars, unlimited attendees, the Geo presentation system, which is backed by Amazon S3 for live, and recorded events, okay? The Geo Webinar Toolkit, including the advanced chat management, live buttons, animated whiteboards, and the bonuses are worth over $3,000. Uh, exactly, Pat, thank you guys. All right, bonuses worth over $3,000 designed to help you get started. Right? That's what we're including in that $297 a year for 
launch period. Frequently asked questions, I've got some there. Is it a one-time payment? No, it's either monthly or yearly. Um, and I've talked about that, making sure that we have a product that we are still around with in 10 years time um, to support you with. Will the price ever go up? No, if you've got your grandfathered rate locked in, and I can see a whole bunch of people are doing that, uh, you will be locked in with that price from then on in. If you, if you don't renew, you won't be able to get that price back again. So keep it if, as long as you want to. Um, is there training available? Yes, there's full walkthroughs in the software. Again, please understand that with our early release, there's lots of stuff that's being added in the next week. So in fact, if you logged in every day, you'd see new things in that system being added every day. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah, well, I agree. Thanks. It's great just for the five pre-recorded webinars. A couple of those are done by me and others are done by other experts. Um, yes, Roberto, is it? Uh, Roberto, um, run click people will get a similar offer. So I can see that you're, you're there, Pat. Thank you, Jay. Um, and that's it, exactly, Jay. So I, I really appreciate that, Jay, just dropping that comment in the chat box there. Um, we, my whole MO, um, Modus Operandi, is, is customer service. I'm here for you guys. So we decided as a company to move in a very specific direction with business grade software. Uh, the first release of that was was uh, RepWarn. The second release is this one, Webinar Geo. We have two more products in the uh, in the lineup. The first is GoGeo, which is a um, a free platform for managing social media accounts, and the last is a, a platform called Provide Data. And as of that point, that is our complete product suite. So we're not here to release a new product every six months. We're not here to um, shut down and run away. This is this is a lifetime project for me. Four products in the space and looking after them from a lifetime perspective, and making sure that we've got growth and customer service. So, Pat, again, thank you for the for the kind words. Um, uh, more done for you geos to come. Yes, actually, I don't want to. Um, uh, I don't want to make promises I can't keep. But my JV manager Matthew Matt Ford um, has I sent him on a mission basically to go and get as many as he could. Um, will they integrate? Jay, yes, we'll be making the code available where you can send opt-in registrations from any web page. So you'll just have a code you copy into any page you want to. Mark, you're welcome. Um, Matt has run around getting lots and lots and lots of people to commit to giving us pre-recorded geos um, so that you'll have a, a growing bank of those. Um, so I don't want to make promises I can't keep. At the moment, we've committed to five pre-done geos already in the system, but we've got about 10 people that have already said, yes, I'll record a presentation and yes, I'll make it available in the back end. Um, again, I don't want to make promises I can't keep because what if they don't live up to it? But as, as much as I can, I'll be getting experts in webinars and experts in lots of different things to run pre-recorded presentations and drop them into the membership base. So you will always have the latest version of WebinarGeo being a cloud-based system. It's not something that we have to send you an update. So when you log in, you'll be able to see that there's new stuff being added. So, um, and again, thank you so much for being part of our presentation. And I look forward to welcoming on you on board as WebinarGeo customers. Mm -hmm.